Well, gene editing may be useful where you have clear defects, uh, mutations in amyloid precursor protein, presenilin-1 or presenilin-2, and editing may have benefit there because you have something that's traceable and links to the disease. In the case of sporadic disease, we really don't know which gene you would correct. Um, the only thing I think you could focus on right now would be to change expression levels of some key proteins, but it isn't clear what would be the outcome of it. If you were to decrease the level of amyloid precursor protein or tau protein or APOE protein, we don't understand enough about their overall cellular function to know whether that would be a benefit or actually have uh, deleterious effects. So the other point that I made in the um, argument is that Alzheimer's disease is a complicated disease. And with many, many, many changes uh, gene expression. In fact, you can see that from GWAS study, genome-wide association studies, that a number of uh, loci play a key role. Which do you correct? Is it because there's too much, too little, or the wrong type? And uh, the model I'm seeing for Alzheimer's disease, it's a more of a homeostatic disease that, um, and it may be different for those that have mutations, although preliminarily the data suggested it actually is quite similar, but let me go back, is that uh, correcting the, um, any one of these changes may actually be more negative than positive. Um, so it's really just too early. It doesn't mean that there won't be an approach like this, where you may modulate the expression of APOE or something else, but there just isn't enough known. The other th piece that I came into is the idea, which is actually quite established, that something that things that are normal and overly expressed or overly in occurrence, lowering them may actually have benefit. And that's even been questioned for the cholesterol story. And I know that's a common model when people say it'll be similar for Alzheimer's disease. Well, if it's similar for Alzheimer's disease, it's not clear cut. Um, the uh, the uh, therapeutic uh, value of statins is, um, is there, but it is not, um, it's not a slam dunk clear benefit either in whether they work even by lowering cholesterol, which they do, whether their positive action to lower heart disease is uh, also unclear. The benefits of heart disease, which I think is a model for Alzheimer's disease, is uh, multifocal, where you change diet, you change behavior, stress reduction, exercise, and a number of items. Then you start to have more of a benefit. Uh, changing a single gene by itself, um, it's no different than changing the statins for cholesterol. It isn't enough.